Hi guys and welcome back to the channel Aim Small, Miss Small. And for today's video, I thought of a little bit more of an educational video. So if you follow me on social media, you'd know that I built a six dasher at Eagle Barrels. And being impressed with the accuracy of the rifle, I proceeded to build myself this rifle, which is a 6.5 Creedmoor, also on an RSA action. So I started researching why are custom rifles so much more accurate than your normal standard guns that you buy from the uh, gun shop. So in my research, I realized that one of the main things is that standard rifles, and I'm not saying Tika or Savage and so forth, but the lower budget rifles are mass production. And with that becomes the problem of the accuracy. Although they are very accurate, and I mean this 223 that I've used for this example, was shooting a sub half MOA grouping continuously every time I go to the range. So they are very accurate, but a custom build shoots a 0.3 or a 0.2 MOA every time you go to the range. So I thought about going into this a little bit deeper, in more in detail, and explain to you guys why the difference and what can you do if you have a standard barrel to increase that accuracy that little bit more. So today we're talking about action blueprinting or truing. So I went to Eagle Barrels with all the equipment that I've got and they've allowed me to take pictures and footage of what Action Blueprinting is and how they do it. So in this video, I'm going to explain to you what it is, first of all, what the advantages of Action Blueprinting is and how it's done at Eagle Barrels. I'll take you through the process there. So Action Blueprinting, what is it? So basically, in a nutshell, and I'm going to try and explain this as easy as I can. The alignment of a action to the barrel is basically blueprinting an action or truing the barrel. So what it means is that you take your bolt and you true that to the action center line, you true the bolt face to the action center line, and then you true the barrel to the action center line. So in a little bit more detail, how you do that is on your bolt, you've got locking lugs. And if, if you put your bolt into your action, it goes to the shoulders on the inside of the action. And when you close it, the locking lugs then go onto the shoulders and then it holds the cartridge in place. So looking at the 223, I only had a 20%, maybe to 25% of actual contact on my shoulders in the action. So it's very important that we do that step because that aligns your bolt to the center of the action. Second step is once it's in place, they machine the bolt face to be 100% square with the center line. So they put this in a machine and they machine it exactly center once it's in the machine. It's done by a CNC, so the tolerances reduce. So now you have the bolt that's aligned to the action, as well as the bolt face, which is aligned to the action. That reduces a lot of the tolerances already on a standard rifle that you buy from the gun shop. Then the next step is, is to cut the front face of the bolt exactly square. So it takes them some time to line this up in the machine to make sure that it's exactly center. And then they cut this out to be exactly square to the bolt center. And then once that's complete, they do the exact same thing to the barrel that screws in here. So if you then screw your barrel in, it aligns the barrel to the center line of the bolt, which means the barrel center is then aligned with the center of the bolt. So blueprinting or truing is in essence lining everything up and making it ex well, ex extremely center within some tolerances. So that in a nutshell is what action blueprinting is. So just to give you guys a rundown of the weapon that I used, I used my 223, which is an Hauer, which I then took to the Eagle Barrels and they did the blueprinting for me. So later in the video, I'll show you how the process goes, but just a little bit more on the tolerances. The action had a 0 0.4 to a 0 0.5 millimeter spread just on the front face. So that is, you'll see, I'll, I did take a video. Of, when they pushed the meter onto the front face and spun the action in a center, the difference in uh, the, um, the surface was 0 0.4 to 0 0.5 millimeters. That means if I put the barrel on, there will be a gap somewhere of 0 
0.4 to 0.5 mils. So quite big tolerances on the action alone. And that you'll see if you want to see if someone's action has been blueprinted. I'll see if I can bring it as close as I can. You can see over there it's been cut exactly square. So the barrel itself, they take that out and they do exactly the same thing. Put it in the machine, spin it and cut, cut it exactly or you know, they cut it exactly square. So when you put the action to the barrel, it is now fit exactly onto each other for maximum contact. So that is basically what happens here. And I'll take you through the post process, as I said, later in the video. Now the question is, why do we blueprint an action or why do we true a rifle? Well, there's a few advantages to this process naming just a few is the first one for me personally is to increase the accuracy that happens because you align everything but because you align everything it actually reduces the sd and es spread because there's less movement on your brass which allows you to put the energy straight into the bullet consistently over time which reduces the SDs and the ESs. So first of all, you increase the accuracy. Second of all, you reduce the ES and SDs, which helps with long range shooting. Then there's a few things that come with it. It's the smooth operation. So this action has been blueprinted. I don't have a barrel for it yet, but that'll come at a later stage. So smooth operations of the bolt. So if you operate the bolt once it's in its place, smooth operations, because once it's, it's been blueprinted, is smooth operations forward and backwards and and it goes in hand in hand that you have less force required to close the bolt and open the bolt so and that's important when you shoot a prs match and you move from from gong to gong and you want to be behind the rifle closing the bolt you want as little as possible of force required to close the bolt so you can stay on target so two big things you have a smooth bolt operation and less force required to operate the bolt then the one thing that I think not a lot of people talk about is the fact that you have now aligned everything, you know, the bolt to the locking lugs, to the bolt face, and from there to the barrel, you actually straighten out everything which increases your case life. Now, the price of current brass prices, this is a big thing and it reduces cost over the length of the time. I shoot Lapua brass. They guarantee between 10 and 15 firings if you anneal it every time. If you don't have the alignment done, that might actually reduce that number. By how much, I cannot say, but it does reduce the case lifetime. So by doing blueprinting or truing, you increase the life and you can maybe get to the optimum of 15 firings per brass. All right, guys, so what I'm going to do now, as I said, Eagle Barrels were kind enough to allow me to take footage in their workshop. I'm going to take you through the process step by step and do a voiceover for you on what specifically they are doing and I'll show you a little bit more and more as we go along. So guys, enjoy the trip to Eagle Barrels and I'll see you back in a sec. So we're starting this process where the barrel has already been taken off the action. So what he's doing now, he's just aligning the center line of the action to the protruding rod and he's using a measuring gauge to make sure that he gets the center line. As you can see on the, uh, pressure, the measuring gauge there, it's quite a little bit out, but he is tensioning the screws on the right hand side to reduce that amount and aligning it exactly where it needs to be. As you can see on the measuring gauge there, on the furthest point away from the action, it's fairly tolerant. I think we went with a 0.1 millimeter tolerance on that. But it looks fairly good. So then the process is he moves the measuring equipment to measure the front side of the face. I asked him to do this so that we know what the tolerance was. As you heard previously in the video, how I had a 0.4 mil error there. So I'm going to zoom in on the measuring gauge. And you can see what the tolerance is with the action being balanced. So we go from about 12 to 16 which gives you 0.4 millimeters of tolerance on the action face. So they use a removable spray paint on the front of the action face, and then they CNC little bits by little bits. He went with 0.1 millimeter every time to reduce just a little bit so we can actually see how he's taking the paint away. So this is the zoom, zoomed in version. As you can see, started cutting on the right-hand side, spinning it around. 
And ironically enough, you'll see that that excess of 0.4 millimeters was only on the one side of the bolt action. So very glad that I took the 223 for this. It's clearly an alignment issue on the action face. And as you can see, it's on the right hand side of that picture there. And he continues doing this until all the removable spray paint has been taken off. And this is how he knows that he has now cut it exactly uh, to spec and that it is now exactly flush according to the alignment of the center of the action. So one more to go, you'll see as he finishes that one, you can see it's nice and clear everywhere except for that point there. And to the last cut, he just makes it a little bit deeper and to make sure that he takes up all the spray paint and he gets the face all shiny. There we go. So that is for the, the action face. Now we know that that is exactly squared up in alignment with the action. So next, they do the exact same thing to the barrel. So this is the alignment process in, in a sped up version because it does take some time. It takes him about 20 to 25 minutes to line it up. Um, once it's lined up, he then does exactly the same. You'll see I'll zoom in in about two or three seconds and you can see how he cuts the shoulder away and making sure that that is exactly flush because that's the contact point for the action face. And you'll see whatever he takes off in terms of the shoulder of the barrel there, he has to take out on the top of the thread. Otherwise, it won't line up. This is all done by measurement of the CNC machine. I didn't take a video of the screen, but it is an exact science worked out. So this is what the action face looks like. As you look inside over there, that's the locking lug, the shoulder that it attaches to. You can see it's been worked a little bit. They used a uh, material called Super Grit. It's like a wet sandpaper, which they put in the action and they just work off the uh, locking lugs to make more contact. This was about halfway. You'll see in a minute what the halfway mark looks like. They also use that same removable spray paint, spray it on the sides and then they work it off. So they'll be about 50% of the way into creating good contact. This is just the cleaning process to get all that super grit out to make sure that it's nice and clean. And then they do the reassembly so that the gun is ready to be shipped back to you. And just adding the Picatinny rail as well. All right, there you have it, guys. Action blueprinting or truing. What it is, what the advantages are, and what the process is that Eagle Barrels actually do to achieve the blueprinting. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I will put Eagle Barrels contact details in the description below. Give them a shout. It's not a lengthy process, but you do get the accuracy. One tip that I'll give you is don't, you, if you haven't done it and you want to do it, by all means do it. It does mean that you will have to redo a ladder because your um, allowable case length and everything changes because they have to cut off the bolt face as well as the barrel. So there is a little bit of work for you to do once the uh, bl uh, blueprinting has been completed. Like on the 223, I will take it to go do a ladder test again. If you haven't shot the rifle yet, it's the perfect opportunity to take your rifle in, let them do the blueprinting and uh, the truing before you start shooting. It will reduce the amount of shots that you have to do to get the right load, but you'll get off on the right foot, saving you some time, in the, uh, time and money in the long run. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this little educational video. If you have any questions, please post it below. I am in contact with Eagle Barrels. If I don't have the answer, they should have it for me. Guys, thanks for subscribing. Thanks for supporting me. And we'll see you again. Goodbye.